I just opened the door and it smells awful. Uh, I was talking to the neighbor that the people that lived here before ran out by the roaches and the cats. So I'm going on here to see about these cats. You wanna go in there for me? You don't wanna go in there? Come on, go in there for me. No, that place stinks. It smells bad, don't it? God. Okay, I'm gonna go in here. Get out, kitty, kitty. Don't try to mess with me. I won't mess with you. This is horrible. Somebody broke in here. Now, when I came up, it was a cat sitting out here eating, eating food. Why wouldn't you eat your food, right? Of course you eat your food. Somebody put the food there. Who the hell would put food in there? The door's wide open. So I wonder how many of them in there. I gotta go back in here, run these cats out. The door's open, hopefully they'll run out. And I won't have to beat the hell out of no cats. Then they'll y'all be calling Peter on me. This is just crazy. All right, kitty, get out. All right, kitty, out of here. They all ran off. Shit, me. Yeah, it smells awful in there. It smells like. Lake trout, lake trout is your secret. Rocky roads in your drive. Cooking chillings in your mind. Body kill. So, yeah, you saw the cat. That's, that's crazy, right? So, what I'm gonna do is, because it looks like somebody keeps breaking in. So, what I'm gonna do now that I know there's no more cats in here, I'm gonna probably board this up, the basement door, board that up so that it's secure. And then I'll put a bed in to secure the first floor and the basement floor with security doors, front doors, back door, uh, and even uh, the windows with some secure view. I'll put the bed in and tell you if I want it or not, you know. But I'll probably more than likely win it. I gotta go to Home Depot, get a board. All right, I'm gonna do something nice. I'm gonna go take these cats their food. So I'll take it back over here where they live. You can see they live over there. Look like it, that's where he went. So I'll put it over here. Somebody feeding them. They got two bowls. Now I'm working in them Fido's up there. Look at them. Skip. Oh my God! Get the cheese. See, that's why I don't like cats, man. Look at them. All up in there. I gotta go get somebody to get him out of here. I ain't been working with homeboys sitting up in here looking at me on my neck. Man, he about worse as the crackhead. I mean, I'm in there, he in there. Work, he done snuck back in. Or another one in there and snuck back in. But I just talked to the other neighbor. He said that they broke the door down because it was kittens in there. What? So they broke all the doors in because kittens in there. Like, and then nobody want to take them in. They want the door to be left open and cracked at somebody else's house. Shit, boy. It's like, put them in your house. This is stupid. Like, you want me to leave the, hey, can you leave the door open so that the cats can get in and out? Can you put a cat door in there so they can? Shit, me. Do the cats pay the bills in this month? I think not. But this is what you're dealing with. I gotta get somebody in here and get this cat out. All right, kitty, you gotta go. Kitty, come on, kitty, get out of here. Yeah, kitten, kitten, kitty, kitty. 
in the ceiling? Yeah, right, right. Watch yourself. It's by that pipe. I didn't hear anything. Where's she at over here? The cats are still in there. I'm about to leave them in there. I just went on Facebook and I asked people what I should, what should I do. They said it's mating season, so get out. Get out, because nothing I can do. So I just wanted to, look at these creepy cats. Just keep looking at me, man. I'm sick of these cats. He wants to get back in here. Look, he keeps looking because he was in here. I chased him out earlier. So now he was trying to get back in when I went to my truck. He tried to get back in here. So he's, he's waiting. He waiting. He's waiting for me to leave. And then look at that creepy cat over there. It is a ton of cats out here. And the neighbors keep asking me to save the cats. Leave the door open so they can get it. They'll close it. Shit me. When I came in, somebody had knocked out the door, pushed the doors in because they said they were trying to get to the cats. That's what the neighbors told me. So I had to repair this door. But that's not the real problem. The real problem are those guys right there. Look at them. Creepy, creepy. Creepy crawlers. There's two of them up there. One of them is pregnant. And the other one is still a baby. Or still like, you know, a kitten, I guess. So I'm about to lock them in here. I call SPCA and they're gonna have to come deal with this, but I'm gonna lock it up for now. Put this up, uh, then I'm gonna get out of here and come back tomorrow. You know, animal control, I guess, to uh, see what they wanna do about these cats. If they wanna take them by the neck, <laughs> yank them out of there, or if they're gonna set the trap. So we'll see. But it is a ton of cats out here. Let me show you these cats. People been feeding them. Look at that cat. They wild cats. Get them up out of here. So just go right in. Probably need your flashlight. I can it's, tell you there may be more than two in here. It smells like it, right? Oh, well, yeah. I, okay, I shut the door. So they should be still downstairs from yesterday. But, Next to the furnace. Mm -hmm. Lisa, right there where you at, right to your left. Right there. Right, right there. Up in here? Yeah. Okay. Look in between. You see it? And is this open? Yeah. Okay, so they may be ferals. Oh, Jesus. Maybe. Oh, yeah. You can tell if you're crazy. Guys. There ain't no touching you. Oh, really? You can tell that, right? Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a bug. 
Um, well, she's not gonna let us get her. So I, I say our best option is probably. It's two of them though. Oh, there may be more than that in here. Really? Um, so you said that you're boarding it? Well, let's board it now. Okay. Now, were they about the same size? Kind of. Okay. They said one of them is pregnant. Um, it's very possible. Um, uh, it's definitely younger. It's probably yeah. a juvenile. Okay. Um, so what we can do is we'll set a trap down here. Okay. Um, and then we'll probably just leave the whole house open because they're probably everywhere. You're just not seeing them. You mean is that many? It could be it's possible, yeah. It definitely smells like there's been a lot in here. And then what we'll do is just check the trap. Mm -hmm. And then typically what we'll do is as we're getting the cats, we're taking them in. And then what we'll typically do is once we don't have any we'll leave it for like a day or two mm -hmm. to make sure nothing else is left and then we'll take it but we want to give a nice grace period to make sure nothing else is left but yeah that oh here's good. another one oh maybe that's your light oh. i thought i saw one up there but i think that might have been your light reflecting okay. the other one yesterday they were over here I backed them. They ran over this way into that. Yeah, he just, yeah, he just took that by himself. All right. So we'll go grab a trap. Um, we go get it or Yeah, if you want to grab a trap, what we can do is just set it. Okay. The, we'll set it like right at the bottom of the steps. So. so take it. Oh, no, you can take that. <laughs> so you said ain't no grabbing them, huh? No. Really? No, those ones are the ones, if you try to grab them, they're probably going to bite scratch you. Well, good thing I called y'all, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going with y'all tonight. I ain't staying down here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, they tend to hide in all weird types of places. Uh-huh. Well, you all right? Yeah, once you get out, it may not be a bad idea to bomb in there once we know where the cats are out, too. Okay. Just for fleas. Um, I think they're okay right now. Um, so what we'll do is set this in the basement. Like I said, what we do is we check the traps a couple times. We check them at least twice a day. Um, oh. And because we want to make sure the traps are humane, but you don't want to leave an animal in a trap too long because they can injure them home. So, yeah. um, so if we can get the lockbox code, then we'll, so give it we'll to do it today. Most people we'll check today. Mm -hmm. um, I'll check in the morning. Like okay. I said, once we stop getting cats, then we typically will leave it for a day or two to make sure nothing is left. I'll be shocked if you only have two in here, honestly. It, it, it smells like you've had a, there's been a lot. Well, they said that's how it smelled when they lived here. Uh, I mean, that is too. Shit me. That's what I said. It's so awful, right? And there's a good possibility that these cats were being fed by the person that lived here. Oh, what was that? In between the air conditioner vent? Right. Yep. The same one, Thomas. We'll leave this here. Um, like I so said, we'll check it later. Um, Look at them eyes, man. I know. <laughs> Dude, it's so weird, yeah, man. They are. Actually, they are. God, look at them. <laughs> oh! Thank y'all for coming out.